Man, I never thought I'd see the day when I'd be sad about a mobile game going away. Anyways, thanks for coming to this video. Uh, my name is Eliseo, and whew, I am sad. Now, I've been playing this game since release, Star Ocean and Amnesis, and it's one of those free-to-play games that I find to be... Uh, to me, like a gold standard that should be, well, a game that should be a gold standard amongst all uh, mobile games, like free-to-play gotcha games. But, um, man, this makes me sad. And I also feel like it might send the wrong message to the rest of the mobile game industry on being um, player-friendly, free-to-play uh I can't even talk right now. I'm so sad. Free to play, player friendly. It's just sad. Like I said, this, I find this game to be like a gold standard amongst free to play games. The reason being is because they give you a way to farm the premium currency in this game. Unlike other games where it's like a super limited quantity that you can like, you have to like really grind to get and like hope to get and it's just not free to play friendly whereas this game was super free to play friendly and it made me super happy and it was one of my favorite games and it was also a very beautiful game very graphically intensive game so much so that it make my phone heat up so much that it would go into like high heat mode where it would dim the screen to try to keep it from getting too hot but man I am so sad this game is going away. From what I understand, though, it's only going away for the global version. I believe the Japanese version is still continuing. So everybody out of, outside of the Japanese version will not be able to play this game anymore after November 6th, which is in less than a couple months from now. I can't believe I missed this announcement. I was seeing some people like, having weird messages on in the game um with their uh people that they rent out to others um with the support characters you know saying goodbye as soa and stuff and i was like really confused about it so i just figured i checked their twitter last week and it's just really sad to see that this game is going away and where i see it's sending a bad message to other free-to-play mobile games is that now they might start seeing that being free-to-play uh, player friendly is not going to get them anywhere they're not going to be able to sustain themselves which sucks i feel like the only reason this game did couldn't really sustain itself that well is because it wasn't getting very good marketing like uh i just i hardly saw it anywhere in terms of marketing Whereas like Fate Grand Order, you see it everywhere in terms of marketing or even the Final Fantasy Mobius. Um, I remember going to PAX West la this last year and seeing like banners up for um, Final Fantasy Mobius and barely saw anything for this game. So it makes me really sad to see the like, in my opinion, the most free to play player friendly game I've ever seen especially the most beautiful one like in this game where you can actually see full character models it is a instead of like duty just to little chibis of well a character um let me see i want to i want to find a good waifu to show so you can see the actual 3 3d like full character model and they move around and stuff and uh, <clears throat> you can also see their 2d art as well like I said, it's just it's just so sad to me because this was a great game. Um, I would give it a perfect score if I were to review this game, except in terms of story. The story in this game really kind of sucks. I, I hated doing the story mode in this game. But like doing the events, they were interesting, especially like the Valkyria um, event that was going on where everything was fully voiced was awesome. You also got like really cool... It's um, good to have friends. Like uh, characters, collaboration characters in this game. I got a few of them, if you couldn't tell. Um, <clears throat> it was also one of those games where you could actually get the SSR characters somewhat easily. 
It's not like other games where you're just <laughs> rolling the dice on a 1% chance of getting a five-star character on that limited premium currency that you have to like fight tooth and nail to get. In this game, you can get the premium currency fairly easily and summon quite a bit. And I have like tons of five-star characters in this game that it's unfortunately is now going away. And I've also put money into this game that's also unfortunately going away now too. With that being said though, like look at all these characters. Well, they're six stars now since I've uh, upgraded them, but look at all these five-star characters I had. You wouldn't see stuff like this in like a typical premium uh, free-to-play gotcha game. You see people with like maybe a few, like I have in uh, Fate Grand Order. Actually, I think I only have like seven SSR characters. And I've been playing that game a bit longer than this one. And I have all these characters that I I haven't even gotten to use some of them. Because I've, I've been busy trying to level up these other ones that I've had. But man, it just sucks. Like, I don't want this game shutting down to tell other publishers that the free-to-play friendly uh, system isn't going to get them anywhere. Because I feel like it would. Unfortunately for this game, it didn't. And I, like I said before, I think it's because of the marketing. But I feel like these kinds of games are the ones that will inevitably uh, become a, a big, I don't know, money maker for these companies. Where people start seeing that, hey, this game is actually rewarding me adequately for things. Whereas other games aren't really doing that. They're making it incredibly hard and, and pushing incredibly hard for me to buy this free-to-play currency or premium currency. So, like I said, it just makes me really sad. This is like one of the greatest, if not the greatest, free-to-play game that I've seen that's going away. Um, I guess, honestly, I do kind of like Fate Grand Order a little bit more, but that's just because I enjoy the card-battling gameplay more than just the... Uh, would be the absolute best game ever or free to play game ever well i guess besides the story if they took like uh did like story kind of like fake grand order it would be like the absolute best but uh, it's just unfortunate i really want more publishers to go this route with things with these free to play games make them make them uh, free to play friendly because Welcome. those are going to Step people right that up. are going to spread your game those are going to be the people that talk about it and get other people into it. Like I said, unfortunately, this one didn't quite make it. And I just do not see why people weren't really all over this game. Uh, but I guess, I mean, like I say, it could be because of marketing and stuff. But man, like uh, in this item exchange, you do these maze of trial uh, missions and you get these maze of tri trial coins that you can exchange for these gems every 15 days. And see how many I, I get. It's just, man, it just sucks. I went from, what was it, 14, 15,000 to 22,000 of these gems now. And each of these summoning pulls was like 5,000 a piece. Art, so be sure to maintain some distance. And the odds were way better than like Fate Grand Order as well. You get a 6% chance to get a 5 star. And four or 26% for a 4 star. And this is crazy. And they even separated the weapons from the main characters. Unlike other gacha games where they have them included together, which makes it even harder to get the characters you want or get the um, equipment or craft essence or whatever that you want. It just makes me so sad. I'm going to, I can't stop saying that. This game is just making me so sad that this game is going away now, at least globally. Um, right now, though, you can try to get like all the characters that have been released before, except for the uh, collaboration characters by doing these events. <sighs> but I think at some point I'm going to work on a video where I'm going to try to oh, that's items. I'm going to try to make like it's little videos of each individual character that I have unlocked just to kind of um, memorize, memorize, just to keep them um uh, um, 
alive, you know, just so people can see what they looked like in this game because these 3D models are awesome. And I love that they move and stuff. Like you can interact, well, you don't interact with them, but you can see them being alive. And it's just so sad to me. Like so much production went into this game, like so much time, so much work, so much energy is going away makes me sad but like i said i'm gonna try to make individual vi videos for these characters i'm gonna try to get the uh waifu units done first because i think that's what people want to see more often than uh the male characters but i'll try to work on that video as time goes on before the game actually closes in uh globally and i guess i'll get back to you later like i said uh this is this is a sad one for me.